Hey everybody, this is Captain Kimo from CaptainKimo.com and this is a short video on PictureNot. PictureNot is a free HDR software that you can download and use it to create HDR images. This video is going to show you how to quickly get started using PictureNot. Before we begin, let's check out the exposures we'll be using to create our HDR photo. Right here we have our uh, photo. I took this during sunset over uh, the downtown West Palm Beach area. This is the original photo, the uh, evenly exposed image. Um, the next one will be our underexposed image. Uh, this is the image we're going to use to uh, take the colors from the sky. The next image will be the uh, overexposed image. This is the image we're going to use for the foreground details and the uh, all the, uh, the highlights like right around here and uh, we're gonna use all three of these photos to uh, combine them together to create one one HDR photo so uh, we're gonna do that using uh, picture knot and uh, let's go ahead and launch picture knot and uh, merge them all together this is our picture knot window and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click right here. This is the area where we uh, select our photos, the photos that I uh, just showed you. Um, we'll get a new window when we click that button and we're going to want to click on add and then just go ahead and browse for the file that you want to merge together and these are my three files so I'm going to select all three of them and click open. Um, the next thing we just need to click OK and then you can see right here that uh, picture not is processing the photos here is our final merged uh, image uh, picture not took all three of our uh, files and combined them into one single image and this is the result of the image right now it doesn't uh, look too great um, we have an option down here where we can select to uh, adjust the uh, exposure so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna just adjust it just slightly just so that we can get a, a good range of light I think that looks pretty good so now that we ha we've done with that um, the next step we need to do is we need to tone map the image so let's go over here and select tone mapping and let's go ahead and move this window to the side so we can see the uh, the tone mapping results. We have uh, four different methods here on uh, how to uh, tone map your image. Um, I just use bilateral and basically I don't really adjust much of anything. You can uh, play around with the contrast if you want uh, or the saturation but I just I have with this photo I happen to like it the way it is so we're just gonna leave we're gonna leave it at default set. let's go back to default and click OK and then uh, picture not is gonna process the photo and we have our right here this is our final um, HDR image um, you can save it by click on here or just go to file and save as and we can just save our image wherever we want to so let's go ahead and just save it and that's that's pretty much all there is to it to uh, use picture not to create an HDR image uh, I like picture not picture it's great uh, considering it's a free software it's uh, it does a great job of uh, merging the uh, um, exposures to create an HDR image um, it does a lot better job than Photoshop does that's for sure um, but I, I would still be using photomatics because photomatics has a lot more uh, a lot more functions to creating a much more dynamic image so but like I said picture is still a pretty good software um, and it's free um, before I wrap up this video let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, our uh, final image again oh, well this is our, our original exposure here this is the underexposed image and the overexposed image and here is our HDR image um, it doesn't look too bad, does it? Uh, it it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I like it because it's very realistic. It's uh, nowhere close to my style of work, but again, I, I do tend to like the more realistic HDRs also. 
and let's go over and look at some of the uh, or look at the uh, exposures again so you can get a better idea here it is the uh, original exposure and the underexposed image and the overexposed image and our merged HDR photo well that's it for this video I said it was gonna be short so it was gonna be very short um, sorry I couldn't take enough time to really go over it um, I don't really know that much about photomatics I'm not an expert or not photomatics but picture not I'm not an expert at it but um, it's a great program and uh, I, I would use it uh, especially if you don't have any other programs to use uh, picture not is really good at creating uh, I would say realistic HDR images um, but uh, if I had the time I would uh, sit down and uh, play around with the software a little more but I don't um, I'll be heading off to uh, Thailand in a couple weeks and I really have to wrap up uh, a few things before I uh, I get going so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this video was actually uh, part of my uh, picture not post there or my picture not post on my uh, website at captainchemo.com so uh, go over to my website to uh, read the rest of the article um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it well that's it for now this is Captain Chemo signing out